mission is really to simplify payments innovation. We want to extend our reach of, of what we call our Dev Hub experience, our APIs that access any number of the services that we offer across merchant and financial institutions to expand that value proposition to get to the developers that are developing in more of the leading edge technologies like Node and JavaScript and PHP and, and how do we allow the innovators that are innovating those nice tabletop experiences that you see at the restaurants now that tie together inventory, tie together um, um, you know, calling a, a professional member of, of a restaurant staff to come to your table and to pay for whatever your, your, your experience is as well as play games and those types of things. We want those guys to innovate and make a really nice rich customer experience in the restaurant. We don't want to go in the restaurant business, but we want to be that integrated payment layer that they use whenever they need to facilitate the payment part of that experience. From a business model perspective, Vantive is uniquely situated between the merchant experience and the financial experience. So we're in the complete value chain from processing debit and credit to integrated payments to prepaid to security products. Our focus was really around four pillars when we started looking at API from a consumption lens. Uh, we've, we've been in API development. It's been at SOA, you know, service-oriented orchestra architecture, from how do we get our systems of differentiation, talking to our systems of record, and vice versa. So we've always heavily invested in the enterprise service bus space, which was more concerned with publishing from our systems of record or publishing from our systems of differentiation, which could be custom off-the-shelf applications that we need to exposed through a SOA interface. Um, so we've always kind of played in that space, but we never thought of it from a consumption space, which is really the, the developer side of it and how they leverage the API. When we thought about kind of externalization or consumption APIs, we very quickly focused on an API management strategy on how do we create a one-way envision, single access point, I get a single provision of access to the systems I want to access. I, I use a, a similar vernacular or vocabulary in how I communicate to those systems. I've got access to up-to-date documentation. I've got consoles that I can play with and test against different services and see how they respond. I've got a community that I can interact with other individuals that are maybe further down their integration cycle. And then the other thing that we really focused on in, in, a, in a partnership with Apogee and, and working with the, with the developer portal group, um, the professional services organization, was this concept of automated certification. So in payment processing, it's not enough to be able to make a payment. You need to be able to support refunds, returns, chargebacks, all of the different life cycles that a payment may go through, all the way up to settlement, right? And you need to be able, which may be six or seven different kind of modifications, right? If you're a restaurant, you make an authorization and then you maybe you add a tip and then you settle. And then there may be a problem and you need to refund it or return it based on the life cycle of how that payment is settling. Because of that, we want to ensure that the integrator, the independent software vendor or the partner that's integrated to the API exercises each of those APIs. But the, the, the old way of doing that was very methodical. You worked with kind of a white glove treatment of a certification specialist that would look at all of the transactions that came in the platform and said, yep, you made a credit payment, yep, you made a refund, you passed in the right authorization details to cancel the payment, everything looks good, we're ready to move you to the production platform. So we really spent a lot of time thinking about how do we move that closer to the developer and let them almost do test-driven development themselves and verify themselves in their application that they can exercise across all of those different API calls. Through APIs, we unlock the value in our systems of record. If we create a well-defined API, then we drive up developer adoption. I think when I think about APIs, it's, it's, it's less about cost reducing, it's more about how do I generate additional value, how do I bring, how do I acquire maybe more customers, and it's probably more qualitative, and you can probably quantitatively measure that over multiple years. 
and, and, and it's more about enabling both innovation for your external developers and internal developers. So I think uh, when I think of what Apigee and the API management platform from Edge and the developer portal has afforded us is, a, is a multiple opportunities. One is the one way in. So, you know, one security credential, one vocabulary, one narrative on how to interact with all of the systems. The other thing I like about the platform is I don't have to worry about HTTP2. I don't have to worry about the new devices that are coming out. I don't have to focus on um, uh, how the best way to secure and mediate and, and protect against XML threats or JSON injection attacks um, from security protocols like SAML or OAuth you know, the end-to-end -end analytics platform because it's all being, you know, I think, it, I think it's interesting, right? We, we, we haven't treated APIs like we've treated websites with, you know, things like Google Analytics and search engine optimization and all those things. People still ma materially think of the API as the thing that gets me to the thing that I want to get to. But there's so much information that we can derive just by treating our APIs as much as we treated our websites five or six years ago and capturing all those analytics and seeing, you know, which APIs are doing better and having higher adoption and where should I invest more on because I'm seeing the markets drive more to, you know, maybe a card not present API versus a card present API or this particular reporting API is, is being leveraged with these three or four different fields and we can start optimizing those things and start improving the experience even more. And, you know, I think of, you know, how I want to focus on the business of simplifying payments innovation. While I still care a lot about security, compatibility, measurability, and monetization, but it's nice to have a platform that ha is best of breed that handle those things for me so I can put more energy into, into simplifying the payment experience.